Today is Monday, November the 4th. It's the evening before the 2024 general election. And I was sitting here making plans, figuring out when I'll be going to the polls tomorrow to cast my vote. And it occurred to me that I may be asked to do more than complete my ballot. You see, I'm a commission notary here in the state of Alabama. And Alabama is one of a handful of states that still requires absentee and mail-in ballots to be either notarized or witnessed. And so I want to be prepared um, in case I get a call from a resident here in my county. But then I got to thinking, is it even too late for absentee ballots to be cast? And that led me to the Secretary of State's website. And the reason why I'm wondering all this, tomorrow is going to be a full day for a lot of us. Um, but the last thing I want to do is to jump through hoops, race across the county to try to assist someone if it's really too late, if the deadline has passed. So I want to get that information now so that I can better respond to any requests from the general public. So I'm going to head over to the Secretary of State's website. And in Alabama, it's going to be sos.alabama.gov. When you get there, you'll see an elections link. You click on that and then look for absentee voting information. So I'm going to scroll down just a bit. I think this is where I will find that information. All right, so absentee, an absentee ballot returned by mail must be received by the absentee election manager no later than noon on election day, which is tomorrow. So that says to me, anyone, any voter planning to mail in their absentee ballot would have had to have done so earlier today or within the next few minutes um, if they're planning on FedExing it um, to their absentee election manager, all right? That's for mailing. But if a resident wants to hand deliver their ballot, if hand delivered, the ballot must be in the office of the absentee election manager by the close of business, but no later than 5 p.m. on the day prior to the election, which would have been today. And being that it is after 6 p.m. here in Alabama, that says to me, if I get a call from a resident who is planning to hand deliver their absentee ballot, I'm going to say to them, it's my understanding that deadline has passed. I'm going to also refer them to the website. I will also recommend that they reach out to their county's 
absentee election manager and the name of that manager and that manager's contact information, including a phone number, would have been mailed to the voter in their packet. And if they toss that information, I'll let them know where they can find it here on the website. So this answers my questions about how I'm going to handle requests to notarize an absentee ballot. Whether you're a notary in Alabama or another state, it's really important that you are familiar and knowledgeable of your state's notary laws. And it's important, I feel, that you're familiar, you have a general understanding about your state's absentee voting laws. I hope you found this information helpful. And I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel, Notaries for Alabama, if you're a notary who enjoys hearing helpful tips and information, um, you're at the right place. Wishing you all the best tomorrow. I hope you make it to the polls to cast your vote as well. Have a great day.